Welcome back to another Natalie. What the fuck is this? Hey, Lazy, this is Natalie. Natalie? Hi, how'd you get my number? That's besides the point. You know the video that you made about me? Yeah? Delete it! What the fuck? No, why would I delete it? Okay, I'll delete it. Wait, what? What is she ta- and that's how my previous video about Natalie got deleted. Thank you, TLC. Welcome back to another episode of Natalie deciding which side the grass is greener. And obviously she has to follow it. But this is when Russia attacks Ukraine. And this is when we see the real Natalie. Let me show you what I mean by that. So she's talking with her mom here. No, da, no, za to ty chodź v bezpečnosti. Я считаю, что Майк все равно молодец, потому что когда война началась, он помог ну, нам, он, он э, помог тебе. Фактически купила тебе билет. Ну, он очень помог. Oh, so now he's a great guy. Wasn't she talking shit about Michael, how he didn't treat her well? She didn't like him at all and that's why they separated. But like now Mike, because he's helping my mom, Mike is a great guy. You know what would have made Mike better and also save this relationship? If uh, Mike was rich. Yeah, just like Josh. But now, since Josh isn't helping, yeah, let's give Michael a call. She flew to Bulgaria because of Michael. Sounds good. Michael is a hero. Oh, and he's a I hero love him now. Oh, you love him. Oh. I want to go back to Michael. Also, when I left Scream, I left my birth certificate, my passport, my clothes. There is a problem. I'm still dating Josh. This entire time she left her birth certificate and whatever, she left it at Mike and she didn't want it back. But now that she needs Mike's help to get her mom out of Ukraine, uh, suddenly she just realized that she left her passport at Mike. It's beyond me that she wants to go see Michael where she's, she just fucked Josh like a couple of days ago or some shit. But she's like, oh, now that Mike is helping my mom, I love Mike. Mike is an amazing human being. I don't care how much shit people talk about Mike, I will always stand by- Oh, I talk shit about Mike? I never meant to say those things about Mike. Mike is such an amazing human being. Especially when he gives me money and helps my mom. Michael is in my heart. Oh, he's in your heart now. What is it divorcing? Do? Is it coming back? I thought you were already were yeah, divorced. Yeah, it changed because Josh wouldn't give a fuck about my mom, honestly. People in my country dying, losing houses. Count on yourself, you know, I'm too busy with my beautiful life. What the fuck is Josh supposed to do? Should Josh send some missiles to Ukraine? What is she expecting him to do? Hey Josh, yeah, it's me. Do you still have Putin's number? Would you mind telling him to pause the war in Ukraine real quick? Yeah, Natalie has been really upset lately. Yeah, thanks Josh. Wasn't she like totally in love with Josh? Last episode she was like, Josh is so cute, I love him, this and that. And now she's talking shit about Josh and she's going back to my- She is literally six years old. This is how a child changes their mind. You're a fucking adult and you're bouncing back and forth between Josh and Mike when you were talking shit about Mike but you were loving Josh but now you're talking shit about Josh and you're loving- <laughs> Natalie, you're, you're not six! No, she was literally talking shit I don't know about... what I feel. <sighs> he might tell me I want a divorce and just take your clothes and go out of here. Or he could say he wants to give us chance. He loves me. What? I hope that I can decide with whom I want to spend the rest of my life. Now we're choosing between Josh or Michael? Damn, she just threw Josh under the bus right now. Josh paid for all of her tickets, all the restaurants, all the hotels that they've been together. He literally paid for everything. But as soon as Josh doesn't help her with one thing, she needs to find someone else. And Mike, Mike helped. So now I don't know if I love Mike or if I love Josh. She may be old and slow, but she still bites and scratches hard. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie's gonna come up and get her things. Ooh, he said he's she's gonna get her things. Is that it? You just decided you're gonna spring this on me. Well, it just kind of got sprung on me too. She said she was flying up. She asked me to come up and get her things, and I was like, sure. Wait, I'm a little confused. She made it sound like Mike invited her for her to get her birth certificate, her passport, and so they could also talk about their relationship. But with what Mike is saying, it looks like she only sent a text that I'm coming to get my shit, not that they're gonna talk about their relationship and that she's thinking of getting back together with Mike. I think it's kind of sneaky that she invited herself 
over to get her shit. But in reality, the only reason why she's there is because she wants to talk to Mike and she wants to get back with Mike. That is so fucking sneaky. Let me come over because I have some things that I, wanna, that I wanna pick up and one of them might also be your dick. She's the one that causes all the trouble. She's the one that causes all the drama. She's not. I did not call you a hooker. Honestly, I don't know. I swear I heard it. It's just another one of your lies, Natalie. Well, you know, Michael, I'm not really excited to see her. And, uh, you know, I did send her mom money and help her. You sent her mom money? I did. Wait, what? Why did he send her money? What the fuck is going on over here? They were separated, dude, for like over a year. She was fucking Josh. Does, he doesn't know about this, does he? He does not know about Josh. Just because we know doesn't mean that he knows. Because they were shooting this shit and Mike was out of the loop while we're watching this whole shit go down. Mike really thinks that she's not dating anyone, but she fucked Josh. Wait until Mike finds out that he, she fucked Josh. But it'd be nice if she just got her shit and bolted out of here and, and didn't stir up stuff. Well, she will uh, stir yeah, up I shit. Don't want any stirred up shit. Maybe she should use her head and start figuring shit out. You wish. But running off wasn't figuring shit out. Her IQ's about as big as a fart. Is she lying though? Absolutely not. Someone who finally agrees that Natalie has an IQ of a fucking bean. She acts like she's six. She ran away from him. She went to fuck this other dude and she started talking shit about Mike. But Mike is now the good guy and the dude that she fucked is the bad guy. I cannot wait to see Mike's reaction when she says, uh, I'm, I've been fucking this other dude called Josh. She's just a lying, cheating, scamming snake. Thank you. That's just, she just is. No, uh, yeah. You know? Uh, you know? I don't know how, but somehow TLC managed to get me on their show. Because if you didn't know, yes, this was me. I know I look a little different because I was having a bad hair day. Yeah, this is me right here. That's me talking shit about Natalie. <laughs> Coming over here and marrying Michael, that was just all a game she was playing. Her agenda was to get to America and that was it. I, w I would bet you a million dollars that she probably has some regrets, you know? If she has any hidden intentions tomorrow, I mean, you know, I mean, it's possible, you know, she could try to want me back, whatever. Why, why is Mike hoping? Mike, while you were working, we were watching Natalie get fucked by this other dude. Yeah, sorry to break it to you, dude, but yeah, she was getting digged by this rich dude. I, I'm so sorry. He is really out here hoping that she loves him while he knows absolutely nothing about what happened in California. Last Friday was uh, would have been our two-year wedding anniversary, you know? Mike, move uh, on. It's been a while since she's been gone. Mike, move on. You think he'd ever take her back? He would. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. He would. I can see it. He would. There is old feelings still there, and it's just hard to move past that. All it takes to change Mike's mind is one clip. This one clip from TLC where Natalie is fucking with Josh, and he's like, Oh, so you, you've been fucking while I was over here working and like, maybe we could fix things. But like, TLC, TLC just showed me this clip. Oh, yeah, get the fuck out of here, bitch. Me and Michael left not on a good term. They wanted to move on and I did this, Josh. Michael reached out to me. He said, what can I do? And he gave me money for my mom to be able to leave Ukraine, but Josh never offered his help. You know what? For once, I agree with Natalie. If someone also gave me money for whatever reason, that would definitely touch my heart. If someone out there wants to like give me a million dollars or whatever amount, I don't care. As long as it's above $10,000, that would definitely touch my heart, guys. For once, I, am, I can't believe that I'm actually agreeing with Natalie, but if you want to touch my heart, $10,000. Cash at me, send it to my bank account. I would definitely respect you a lot more and maybe love you. I don't know if I would love you, but like, if you add another 10,000 to that, I might love you, yeah. Hello. Josh. Hey, you, how are you? What? What so, the fuck is I'm this? I'm really interested in, to see how this is gonna go. I want to say that you just, the way you talk to me, you talk to me like a friend. What is well, she expecting? I feel like you're confused. What is going on? She's over here to fix things with Mike, but then she calls Josh. What, what is she expecting from Josh? Hey Josh, I'm over here at my ex's house that I'm still married to. See if we can work things out. Oh, okay. 
Cool. Josh, I'm just so excited, but like, I don't know why it sounds like you're treating me like a friend. Why? What is this connection right now? I mean, you're over there to see your ex that you're still married to and you want to fix things between you and him. So like, what the fuck am I supposed to do here? <laughs> Poor Josh. Like, what does she want Josh to say? Yay, Natalie, go see your ex and see if you guys can fuck. Woohoo, I'm rooting for you, Natalie. It's making me confused and so like, um, I mean, it's confusing. Of course, me, why is she? But I'm hoping that I'm gonna see you in LA and we can see where you stand with everything. Yeah. Oh my God, I see trees, familiar trees. It looks like I'm almost there. <laughs> so I have what? to go. What? What the fuck was that conversation? This is why she's so fucking weird. I mean, I understand that I've always had feelings for you. So maybe when you come back to LA, we can talk about our feelings together and supposed to be right now because you're over there to see Mike and I'm just deeply hurt, but I just Oh my god, that's a squirrel. I see a fucking squirrel. I gotta go. Bye. Nat Natalie? Natalie? Hello? Natalie? Na Natalie? Poor guy was talking about how he feels about this entire situation and she saw some fucking trees in the middle of the woods. Whoa! Whoa. Trees! And she's like, I gotta go. Okay, fuck his feelings and cut the conversation right there. Shit. Wait, she brought flowers? Okay. Why is she so happy? What? Hi. I made a huge mistake leaving Michael. Now Michael, she... I love you. Okay. Move back. Someone should give Josh a call. Josh, are you still here? I guess all the shit that she talked about Mike erased itself as soon as Mike helped her with some money. This is truly the definition of gold digger. Anyways, I'm gonna end this episode here. I think the season is almost about to end and the tell-all is going to be amazing. So if you wanna see the tell-all with me guys, please let me know in the comment section. I think this tell-all is gonna be a fucking bomb with Josh, with Mike and Natalie, and they all know because they've all seen the show and they know that they fucked and she went there. It's gonna be a mess and uh, honestly, I'm here for it. Please become a member if you haven't already and I will see you on the tell-all with Mike, Josh and Natalie. I won't be there because TLC didn't invite me there, but I should be invited. TLC, you watching? Yeah, invite me. Let me commentate. Let me fucking roast these guys.